Hello, hello. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Oof. We got lots of people tuning in. Yay. Okay. Hello. Uh-oh. I guess I can take that off. I'm here. Hi. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to put my hair up today. Um, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Get comfortable. I have so much to share today. I'm hoping I can share something. Well, I didn't really think about logistically how I'm going to share it, but I'll figure it out. Um, hello, hello. Um, wow. Oh, look at I've been busy. Ooh, ooh. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I have not had a dull moment. Um, hi everybody. I'm here. It's Wednesday. Does anybody feel like it's been forever since I've been live? Um, oh, somebody just said I gotta go get water. Oh goodness. My water is dirty. Ooh, I'll be right back. Thank you for that reminder. Okay, that was what I forgot. So, really exciting stuff. You guys have to see over here. Oh my god, I got boxes and boxes of new paints. That was cool. It's been a really um, nice, I, it's been a nice mail week. I've gotten some fun. It does feel like forever. Sorry, when I heard new water, I went running. It was like, I need new water. I got my daughter filling that up for me. So, hi, everybody. Hi, in Gladwin, Michigan. I know exactly where that is. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I have clean water. All right. So, uh, everybody, I am going to do a demo tonight. Um, hi, Margaret in Brisbane. I am going to do a demo, and I'm going to first share a project that I've been working on. Um, you guys might have seen it on Facebook and Instagram, and um, I just thought I would share it. I'm not going to go into details. I'm just going to say where it's going, what it's going to turn into. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to be sharing a complete like time lapse of the whole thing, and you're going to be able to see it. So... I've got more coming, uh, so don't worry about that, okay? I just, I wanted to share, people are asking me, what is it that you're working on? Is it a fence post? Is it a this? Is it a wall? Is it a table? Is it a chair? Is it a, is it, is it? So I'll explain what that is. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Connie. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Kathy. Oh, my goodness. Um, this is a very nice little surprise to log in here. And so I have you guys seen the project I'm working on? Well, beside these. <laughs> and by the way, they all come with cute little cards on how to, yeah, I have been, I have been working away. So not a lot of sleep around here. I legit have been staying up late, which has been a bit of an issue in the morning to wake up. I had a seven o'clock meeting, meeting the other morning and I they were like looking at me and I think somebody asked, did Tracy just fall asleep? And I was like, oh my God, it was so hard. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so it's 527. I'm Tracy Weinzeffel. I love to get started early. Um... I uh, thank you so much, uh, everybody's saying uh, that my project is pretty, and I'm going to share it. Sleep is overrated. I feel like I'll get enough of that in the afterlife, so that's fine with me. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll really be busy up there, or hopefully up there. Okay. <laughs> I am going to do a drawing demo. I just give me about 15 minutes. Um, so we've had a couple of exciting weeks. Um, 
And your Artful well, Journey members, our new members are in. It has been amazing. The amount of art that is in that group is actually mind-blowing. And I am super thankful for that. Uh, thank you so much. If you're a tribe member, hi, this is Wednesday. And we start next week. We have like Wine with Wine on Monday. So we're back to being in the group. And I'm happy about that. Okay. So last week, um, a neighbor of mine who works at um, a mall, like a boutique mall in Del Mar, which is a, um, it's called the Flower Hill Mall, I think. The Flower Hill, I think it's called Flower Hill. Um, but they are like a boutique, like mall that um, they change up their decor it almost seems like quarterly. It might, I don't know how often it is, but my neighbor, uh, or uh, he lives not too far. I really, I don't have close neighbors. So he said, uh, hey, I'm working on this project and I suggested your name. Um, I'm just giving you a little background on it. And I gave your name to the lady who runs it. She's familiar with your art and she follows you on Facebook. Would you be interested in painting um, a tabletop for us? There you go. It's a tabletop. And I was like, oh, give me the details. I'm kind of busy. I'm prepping for shows. I've got this. I've got classes. Okay, Flower Hill Mall. Okay, it's legit. <laughs> the right name. So anyway, long story short, the lady who runs all of that said, you know, I said, I got to see if it fits in my time. I, I don't have a lot of time. And also sometimes when somebody commissions you for work, they go, I want it this way and I want it this way and I want it this way. And it's almost like, you know, you're not going to meet their vision or you are, or it's going to be a challenge. But right away, she said, here's my color palette. She gave me the color palette. Basically, I think I gave her the color palette. I mean, and she follows me on Facebook. So um, she said, you basically have creative license to do what you want. So I'm going to share this. I'm going to turn my camera around. I don't have my like remote camera. We're just going to do this because I don't want to change up any settings. And I'm going to, I'm going to just come around. By the way, um, this is, um, uh, I have to I have to tell you this isn't going to be the best angle I have to tell you that um, I just noticed my propane was low yesterday and it takes forever for them to fill propane so I turned the heat off in the house I have two pairs of fuzzy socks on I have a space heater I'm flipping freezing and we had hail today so <laughs> if it looks like I have 18 layers on it's um because I have 18 layers on and I'm freezing my caboose off but it was either we sit in the cold for a little bit or we don't have hot showers and I cannot live without that and anyway so I'm gonna try and aim this camera down as much as I possibly can and this is on wheels I this is not uh, just so you know I have it on a furniture dolly and two crates it's so that I could lift it up to work on it but for those of you who are guessing what it originally was, you know those spools of electrical? This would be underground wiring. It's not, it's a, it's a spool. And um, my neighbor cut this off and cut this off because he's gonna make legs out of it. But it's, I don't know, I don't know how big this is. I, I just wanna give you an idea of how large this is. Oh, I do have a tape measure. Look at that handy tape measure. Okay, well, it's about five feet. So it's about five feet in diameter, but it's basically what the spools of underground wiring is, okay? And so they wanted it natural wood, but when you paint wood, I'll talk about that later. Anyway, this is the project I'm working on. Um, and I normally would have scheduled it later in the month, um, but I kind of had a little bit of time and once I was given the project, I couldn't get my mind off of it. So automatically I had like 8,000 things in my brain and I started it, I think Sunday night, it's Wednesday night. Is it Wednesday night? Yeah. Um, so that it's nearly done. I actually think I might add 
one to two, I can't even hold it up, otherwise I would, super heavy. Um, I, I, I could probably put like one to two more vines on it. I'm gonna share a complete video. I know this angle is not that great, but maybe one to two more vines. I'm not gonna touch it. Last night I had a glass of wine, just one, and I started to stand over it and I decided I need to step away from it because there could be the point where I add too much to it, if you know what I mean, because I have that habit. Um, uh, Kathy Ellis said, how long does it take you to do this from start to finish? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not done. Uh, so I won't be able to answer that. But um, from here, I, I did prep it. Uh, I didn't want, I sanded it. So I've sanded it. Um, I prepped it and then I am going to, I'm not going to answer specific questions. I will say I'm using all deco art paints. I'm so sorry. I just don't want to dig deep and dive into this when I will be able to answer questions later. Um, but I did do a sanding. I have since painted it. It is going outside and I will be varnishing the heck out of it. So sealing it. So I will be sealing the heck out of this uh, with an exterior sealer. Um, sorry, I just don't want to go into a ton of questions because I'll ne we'll never start painting. And I know some people are here for that demo. So Linda, I just want to tell you that. Um, but tonight I will probably, I was going to get it out of here and take it outside so I could start varnishing it. But then I thought you guys might want to see it. Um, and I'm going to share all the videos. So um, <laughs> I realized I didn't mute the video. So there is going to be, um, I have to mute. <laughs> the time lapse is fine. But when I'm painting, when I am painting, I will get obsessed with a certain type of music. So for this, for example, this one is 70s country. And when you're hearing me sing Dolly Parton at all, um, all like it's horrible anyway uh i the good news is thank you linda for understanding so so and just so you know because people are asking is it really like crates no it's gonna have he cut off these two oh this, this shows better he cut off right here and right here because this is this is five feet in diameter and then he's going to use that to make the legs. And then I'm going to sign this. And the cool thing about this project is they offered to pay me, but I thought, I asked her what they're going to do with the table when they're all done. And she didn't, she said, I said, if you don't do anything with it, could I have it back for my backyard? And she said, absolutely, with two chairs that they make out of the same type of thing. Their whole theme is repurposing. So that's why they want to see the wood. And I left all the numbers that were on this. Um, the only thing, like if I lifted this up, you'd be able, I'll take detailed photos. Um, people were asking me about the holes. Um, there's a hole here. Well, okay. So they put these on like a spool and they, you know, they unravel them. So the middle is not an umbrella stand. It's actually where the spool, you know, spools. So um, everybody was asking, what are all the holes for? I was going to make all the centers, like the whole centers, but I didn't take it literally. I just, there, I can't hold it up. Otherwise I would, but okay. I think that answers that. Isn't it great when somebody says, it's a spool on a spool, but that's what it was. I had people guessing, and then they were like, yeah. It, it is going to be, I'm, I'm envisioning it's going to be an umbrella stand, um, but I'm not far from having it done. Uh, but since it's going outside and they really wanted it natural wood, I will be sealing up the heck of it, varnishing the heck out of it. So, um, And that, that has obsessed my brain for three days. Uh, oh. <laughs> Um, Dorothy would like to know if that is a lemon tree that you are seeing through that window and all of those, though, that is legit. Whoops. Hold on. That is my lemon tree and it is filled to the gills. Yes. Thank you for asking. I didn't. <laughs> I should. Okay. Um, here's an example, especially your artful journey members. You know how we talk about that success path? Um, that success path, 
uh, remember that that success path is getting you with all of those different techniques that we're working on. This is where somebody delivers something to you like this. Instead of saying no, you go, oh my God, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I even had my apron up there to watch or to like, I had an apron and I went right there. <gasps> Diane Kirby said, wait a minute. Diane Kirby, okay, says, my brother lives in Ramona. I live in Ramona. Okay, Diane. I probably know him because I live in a small town. All right, so um, I think I answered all the questions, but we'll deep dive, we'll dive deeper. Deep dive, dive deeper. <laughs> I love it that everybody's saying my brother lives in Ramona too. Well, keep down, people. Start introductions here. No. All right. So if you were wondering, yes, my name is Tracy Weinzeffel. Yes, I do work in an art journal. Yes, we're going to work in an art journal today, by the way. Oh, I wonder if I know them. <laughs> I might know them. Okay. Oh, this was my, that was my color chart. I just wanted to move the camera so we could get focused in. All right. That helps. Anybody? Uh, all right. So I am Tracy Weinzeffel. This is my art studio. You might be wondering, why is she going to pull an art journal out and do a demo? Well, because all of those little ideas that you see that I just put on there are ideas that I got from my art journal. Oh, Diane just said they live wine. Diane, I am sure that I know them. <laughs> Dorothy just said, you're the Energizer Bunny on steroids tonight. I am. I haven't even had a sip of that wine. Um, this is what happens when I get a project that literally it was too good to turn down. You know how some, it really was. Uh, so we'll see. Just like I said, I really want to have this piece of art in my backyard in November. They'll give it to me. All right. So let's talk about art journaling. Let's talk about no, oh, that's not a good sign. All right, this is my art journal. What did you all think about last week's mixed media? Doesn't it seem like it was a thousand years since last Wednesday? I got to I got to rearrange here. You guys realize this off the studio when I'm working. Ooh. Yay. When I'm working, I'm like constantly shifting things. Um, so <laughs> Diana says, you make me smile. You're so down to earth and refreshing. <laughs> oh, God, it's a hot mess. <laughs> I shared a little behind the scenes last night on Instagram, and people were dying. My girlfriend was like, what the heck are you wearing? Uh, I don't paint in nice clothing. I literally paint in my dad's clothing. <laughs> okay, you loved it. Loved it. Did you love the mixed media? This was last Wednesday. Oh, my God. Projects that feed your soul are the best. Thank you. Yes, they are. All right. So um, since I haven't been live since Wednesday, um, I'm going to do a quick old sketcheroo. My son and family lives in Ramona, and I'm going to visit in June. Oh, my God, Linda. Make sure you spend lots of money. I'm kidding. Oh, Loved the mixed media. Mindy, where do you go to order your wine glasses? I send me an email. I have a low I have a source. Yeah, we're um I'm not if you guys want there is the wine glass workshop, uh, but I'm going to work in my art journal and I'm gonna try and bring my heart rate down to semi-normal. Oh, uh Annette said she has to go to an appointment. Annette, would you like us all to go with you? Okay. Okay, the feedback is it was great. Still searching for my acrylics, getting closer. Okay, don't worry if you can't follow along. I keep things in our, you know, on Facebook. Oh, show, uh, you missed everything. I'll rewind it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to grab a Sharpie and we're just going to start there. My art journaling stuff is laying on the floor because I don't have any room for anything because I have wine glasses that are eating my office space up. Um, I have not been in this bag in the week. I have not art journaled at one iota. Um, boy, I'm going to get so many visitors coming my way. 
All right, so you're probably wondering, uh, why did she put that tape there if you've never seen me before? I am going to do a rather quick demo. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. Uh, and this I'm going to do for my soul as well, because um, with everything I have going on, and you'll notice I will calm down. <laughs> I hope. Um, that today I'm going to start with drawing. And you might wonder why uh, I start I, I start different ways all the time. So for those of you who pulled out backgrounds or something, I am sorry. I am going to start with my Sharpie. And like anything I do, it's going to be a sketch, but I don't like to work in pencil. I like to make commitments only to paper, nothing else. Uh, so here we go. And uh, da da. What? I got that lovely drawing in front of me of on a table. <laughs> I'm going to cheat right off my table. How about that? All right. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to literally look at my table and I'm going to admire it and I'm going to say, hmm, good inspiration. I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. Um, a lot of what I do is is just this, is just to get a, a, a sketch, maybe just something that's in my brain. Mm. Oh, that's a crazy little flower, isn't it? And this is just a, um, <laughs> Darlene says, once you embrace the Sharpie, you never look back. How many people use a pencil and just end up spending half their time drawing, erasing, drawing, erasing, drawing, erasing. <gasps> I know. It's just funny because I figure, why not just show what I, you know, and I am going to show you like the, I did a time lapse. I've got to put it together, but I did do a time lapse of, uh, I don't know if this is going to be a sunflower or a drunk flower, but we're just going to keep going with it. Um, no pressure on the pen, just a little bit of, you know. There we go. Who's drawing with me tonight? You remember, every Wednesday is free and fun, and I invite you just to grab a pad of paper, get a pencil. You know, it's just a piece of paper, and just draw along. Even if it's just, just a piece of paper, grab a piece of paper out of the copy machine. You probably have one sitting there. Copy machine, printer. Why would I say copy machine? Is that weird? I mean, unless you guys have a copy machine in your living room, that would be weird. All right. Hi, Mary Ellen. Okay, people are drawing with me. I love that. So thank you for the wonderful positive feedback about the mixed media. It couldn't have felt more more inviting and more like home and like m my space and I was nervous and I admitted it uh, I do that a lot all right I'm just gonna put three flowers on here nothing special nothing crazy uh, let's see the next one is gonna be here Like I said, I have legit not drawn um, in in forever. Well, a week. Oh, Crystal, by the way, thank you. I did receive that package you sent me. Um, thank you for that. I will. I didn't want you to think I didn't. Okay. All right. Everybody's drawing with a Sharpie. Even better. All right. Well, this one started out as whatever. 
and I'm just going to carry on the craziness. Oh, Donna said the mix me. I plan on like hitting that at least once. We'll do it once a month. I'm thinking like the third. I'm I'm a, such a schedule girl. The third, um, the third Wednesday of the month. What do you think about that? Do I mainly draw and create floral themes? I would say yes. I'm definitely inspired by nature, trees, leaves, sunrises, sunsets. Uh, what else have I drawn? Butterflies. Ma you know, uh, I haven't really done bugs. I don't really have a, an affinity for them. Um, I've done some sea life, but uh, I really am inspired by nature. So... Uh, don't do faces. I don't claim to be a good... I've taken classes. But, they, yeah, you guys, oh my god. I Literally, I am like watching this flower because I have a feeling it's going to have a mind of its own. Thank you for that reminder from a couple weeks ago that my flower was giving me a symbol. So, yes, I am definitely... Oh, Yes. I draw hearts, but only by, <laughs> hey, I just want you to know something, Sherry, of smarty pants. My drawing on the table has five hidden hearts in it, isn't it? I, I hid, I, I needed something to like, I put five red hearts on it. Mm. Oh, mountains, I do those too. Now, if I do mountains, there's usually a sunset. Because I go to the mountains and I live by the mountains. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's watch this because I have a feeling this guy is going to get a little rogue. Okay. Does that answer that question? The finger flower? Yeah, we did not. I did not know that that flower had a mind of its own. But that was also the end of a very busy week. And I have a feeling it was God's way of saying, please stop drawing. All right. Uh, I don't put hearts on everything. That is not me. However, uh, I decided that I, I, I have to sign the table. They want me to sign it, so I figured it hiding a few hearts would be kind of fun. I'm not really a heart person. Do you ever? If, if you don't draw for one week, now it doesn't count that I drew on a table. It feels like I haven't been to the gym in three months. Does that make sense? Um, that's, that's what I'm feeling right now. Like I have not been to the gym in three months. I haven't been to the gym in one year. No, I haven't been to the gym in a long time. Oops. All right. So legit, uh, it, it might feel like I haven't been. I think it's been, oh yeah, it has been a year. Oh my God. You know, I hike a lot. Maybe I shouldn't be mentioning how much. Uh, the other thing when I get obsessed with a project, oh my goodness, I don't eat a lot because I'm racing through it or I'm painting. So I've been coming home and painting every day and just loving it. I notice when you all stop chit chatting is you must be drawing. All right, I need a third flower in here. Where are you going to go, little flower? Oh my goodness, that is so true. Linda said you've been to God's Gym. I go hiking a lot, which is also where, by the way, I get lots of my inspiration from because um, it's now, well, it was turning into spring until we got a massive hailstorm today. Um, all right. Yeah, I have to, so I did pour a glass of wine last night. Hmm. 
isn't that one of the food groups? Wine, grapes, see? And I had the giggles last night because I realized I was filming with... Okay, I just like to define when I'm drawing. All right, that's okay. This thing's looking kind of ugly, but we'll fix it. And then I'm going to do... Uh, I will not send that bad weather. We needed the rain. Uh, I was all over that. Uh, we needed the rain, so I was at peace with that. Uh, I have to do one more somewhere because I won't feel happy unless I have one more flower somewhere. So we're just going to stick it here. I don't know what it's going to be other than this. Just a fat, chunky. Oh, okay, good. These are my people when they agree that wine is a member of a food group. <laughs> I guess your vibe attracts your tribe, right? Is that the saying? Oh, I don't know what this flower is, but it is not even, and we don't care. Okay. Now a couple of leaves. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I couldn't believe we had like a complete hail situation. Just, oh God, the thing, it just took off. We need the rain so bad though, so I was more than willing. Sometimes you guys notice I put lines down things, and that's because I want to make sure I remember that it's a leaf, if you guys ever wonder sometimes, or it's a leaf and not a petal, because I start drawing and then I forget, and then I just color it in like, you may be wondering. All right, I have to have, oh, everything I did had odd numbers. Uh, I had odd numbers of flowers, odd number of leaves, odd number of vines. So I really hit the, um, I really hit the everything in my table project. I was double counting everything. So two, four, five leaves, three flowers, call it a day, start painting. All right. Oh, beautiful day in Seattle. Uh, we've had some storms in Western Australia. Okay. I'm going to not pull out the classic set because I am so sick of painting with that that I'm going to just paint with something else. Uh, that'll work. All right. This is a Jane Davenport set. That'll do the trick. Uh, I need to load up a brush here. I don't have a lot of brushes because they're all on my other projects. So let's just do this. Um, oh, I don't have orange in this set. Now I'm going to have to pull that classic set out. Hold on. Let me just check for one thing. I can make orange. What am I talking about? <laughs> I know how to make orange. Oh, here we go. Forget it. I'm going to go tropicals. Change my mind. Thank you for understanding. I don't feel like doing a ton of... All right. Let's be good to me. Oh, lo, 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 lo. oh yes. Don't you just... I am just wetting up a brush and just gonna go in here and bring this bad boy to life. I have to tell you this feels incredibly good because when I don't just draw in my journal uh, are you guys thinking other colors ahead of, for me here? I mean, this was just that big yellow flower I had. Uh, I'm not a lines person, so don't get upset if you're out of the lines. Love the water lily brushes. Me too. 
they just hold the water and they somebody asked about ponding water yesterday and I was trying to um, let them know that sometimes if you get a lot of water somewhere and it makes those like ponding lines you could take a dry brush and pick up some of that water okay thank you Michelle for saying you love my table I was loving all the guesses I was getting I try to share stuff in real time. I know a lot of people pre-schedule their content, but I have an excitement problem, and when I'm working on something, I want to share it right away, so you might have noticed that. Okay, uh, we're going to throw some orange into this. Oh, you want red? Ooh, I'm going to throw some orange into here. Uh, when do you wet your page before adding paint, and when don't you? Um, depending on my mood and where... Oh, wow, ooh, wow, ooh. Well, first off, that's a huge brush. Uh, it just depends. Oh, this is too small of a brush. Let's just keep going until I find... I feel like I'm in the Big Bears movie right now. That, that paintbrush was too big. That paintbrush was too small. But, of course, all my paintbrushes are missing. All right. Um, it just depends on where I want the paint to go. Uh, when you pre-wet something, the paint is going to just start traveling. So um, that's just something I'm thinking about is just where I want the paint to go. Uh, I don't want anything to go into the other flowers. So that is something I think about if I'm making backgrounds and I want things to blend together. Because remember, watercolors are going to go where water is, where the water flow is. So see, I just am going back in here and soaking some of this up because I didn't mean for that to go there. And I'm not really a Goldilocks. Thank you for reminding me. See, and I'm just going to, you know, pick up some of this, go back over here, pick up some of this. Yes, and then I can continue to wet this. All right. You know what's happened in my office is because I have the space heater on, it's really arid in here. Um, I gotta go turn the heat on. We're not gonna be able to sleep tonight if it's 30 degrees out and freezing, which I know is not freezing in other people's term. Does everybody see our work on Facebook or just paid membership? Only paid membership, that is a private group. Now, where I'm at right now is my public Facebook page. Uh, these demos are free to everybody on Wednesdays. So, um, but if you're sharing them in the group, that is only members only. Only paid members. That is a private Facebook group. Thank you. Good question. And by the way, members who were at the Zoom or not at the Zoom, I learned some things and we've done some reorganization because um, I'm not too, um, too much to say, oh, I felt like this could be better, this could be better. So uh, we're making some changes, and good changes, not like so you can't make it around. Okay, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> everybody's going to be like, only paid members. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this middle part, but I'm just going to. All right, do I want to take it off the page? I mean, this could be off the page, so I'm just going to throw this. Whoa. Yep. Yeah, I'll just throw that there. Mm -hmm. And my demos on Wednesdays, these aren't deep dives. I mean, we're just, I'm just sharing my love for paint. That's it, okay? That's it. I want people to paint. I want, I want new people to pick up a brush. All right, stop messing with this already. So, oh, mm, mm, mm. let's go, you love these colors, great. Uh, I do kind of want this to dry because I don't want to go into this orange flower, otherwise it'll just go running all over the place. Let me throw a heat gun on it. The Zoom was on Monday at 5. I just want this to dry because I don't want paint running all over the place. Mm 
And I'm going to stick to this palette, so... That's right. I was live on Monday, but I wasn't painting, and so I, and I was talking so much, so it was kind of like, ay yeah yeah, I was talking a lot, but it was enjoyable. All right, so let's go from, yeah, let's go here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll pre-wet this flower. Why don't we do this? I'm gonna. Oh. I don't, hold on, I'm gonna grab a, just a towel so I can wipe that off. All right. Oh, I love what Barbara says, love your flowers. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I'm just going in here and pre-wetting it with Magic H2O, two parts H, one part O. Who remembers their chemistry classes? Okay, just magic water here. This is it. Everything about this water is magic. Nope. Okay. You stay over there, yellow. I didn't invite you over to this party. All right. Here we go. I'm going to go into this amazing pink color. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'm going to dig into this purple. Why not? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oops. So dry in here because I got this space heater that's blowing up the joint. See, Dorothy, I calmed down. I can even feel that my blood pressure comes down. There we go. And I'm just going to come in here. Blend all these beautiful colors together. Hi, meet up with you, meet up with you. Oh, what size brush am I using right now? This is a six round. Not too big, not too small. And yeah, I'm gonna hit back in here. <laughs> I heart it's hard for me to catch all the chat, but I just see Dorothy gave me a little. I have to keep my energy level up because you realize now I got to go over there and overpaint that table until I'm mad at myself. So I got a lot to do tonight. I got to go add details so that tomorrow I go, what was I thinking? No. All right. I want to be done by 6.30 here, so no more. All right, what funky chicken color are you going to be over there? Uh, what is this color? I don't know. But it's going to be over here. Yes. Oh, that's kind of a beautiful color. What is it? It's beautiful. I, I'm choosing a size brush that I can control and just keep the paint controlled. Uh, and and I'm, I'm painting in smaller areas. So if you notice uh, your size of brush can be very important 
If I was using an oversized brush, I would probably have paint going everywhere. And I'm going pretty uh, less water, more pigment, because I'm just coloring this in. And I don't want a ton of dry time. I just want to... Oh, that is just... Will I be having another challenge soon? I know we're going to... I need to get the artwork out, but we're, oh, God, that's happening sooner than later. We are going to be having a Zoom workshop next in, what month are we in? April. Uh, that I'm working on, and that will be limited. I'm not uh, doing a Zoom, a Zoom workshop to 800 people. That will be in limited quantity only. And then there is another challenge in May. So mark your calendars, peeps. I don't have the date in front of me, but it's, yes, May. May seems soon to me. Soon enough for me. How about that? You love those colors. Okay, well, that is good because I'm committed to them now. I can't really get them off the page. But if you didn't like them, we were going to be in trouble, Vicky. <laughs> By the way, I received a very nice testimonial from a lovely lady today about your artful journey, and I have read it, and I am very thankful, by the way. Oh, Dorothy is gone. Just in time for me to calm down. She has to go. Bye, Dorothy. Is May three months away? Don't even say that. Is it three months away? No. March, April, May. Okay, kind of. I mean, I need a little bit of time in between <laughs> just a little bit I don't ask for much oops mm, what color is this okay that's blue May is Mixed Media Challenge, by the way. It's my birthday month, and I'm going to do something that I want to do. Not that I don't want to do the others, just see. So <laughs> this time, we're not going to do hearts, just so we're clear. Although that was a very lovely, it was a wonderful week. All right. I'm not worried about lines. Don't worry about those. Yes, it is, Sherry. They have moved it, and it is still on. It's in Oklahoma, and I am teaching. And um, I'm a teacher there, so we get word first. <laughs> is there a waiting list for the Zoom workshop? Mm -hmm. There should be. Um, but do you want to know what you're painting? Um, my session is not frozen, so you might want to um, restart. I am not going to... Oh, i got to worry about the center of this bad boy. Uh, what's the center going to be right here? Yeah, I want a little more orange. Yeah. I don't look frozen to me. Not frozen. Okay. Let's take all these brushes out of water. I can decide what that background will be in a minute. I don't need to decide. Oh, I didn't put any leaves off of there. Well, mama mia. Mama mia, mama mia. I can put leaves on here. It's not too late. It is my party. And I will put leaves on it. Uh, what is this color? Let's put leaves on it right here. Here's a leaf. Okay. There's a leaf. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't run away. Um, and where's another leaf? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get some green up here, too. You like how I just toss that bad boy in there? Yes. You have to be in there. All right. <laughs> I 
County just said, nope, just sign me up for the Zoom. <laughs> you know what? We're painting nudes, County. <laughs> and I'm kidding. We are not. <laughs> if my mother tunes in now, that'll be the worst time. I have 15 minutes to make this bad boy come alive. Can she do it? Here's the good news. I haven't forgot how to draw with watercolors. <laughs> Connie, you're the first in line. And by the way, the first person who signs uh, the first person who signs up is our model. <laughs> no, Connie, I am not. I didn't say to Connie, I forgot, the first person who volunteers or gets on the wait list is the model. Um, what, uh, what, I used the tropical set. Oh, girl. <laughs> um, there is a high probability that with my, um, <laughs> yeah, Linda, instead, we're all going to paint in the nude. There is a high probability with my um, demented sense of humor, and when I say demented, I mean like, if I ever were in a class and that were happening, I would not be able to control my joking. I also would not be able to control proportion. So I feel like my, um, I also would get kicked out of the class. That is a high probability. I don't have the ability to control myself. And I would not be able to stop myself from joking and blushing. And not that that's a problem. I'm just saying. Now, for those of you who have done this, I, I commend you. It's just I have, um, I have the sense of humor of like a 12 to 14 year old boy sometimes. And it's not, I work with all men. I'm looking for my Sharpie. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, oh, maybe I put it back. No, that would not be me. Hold on. I'm just looking. <laughs> I can see it now. What would Donna do? What would Donna do if I said to her, I really want our next class to be, like, now she's got to do all the promotion and advertising for that. I don't know what I did with my Sharpie. Son of a gun. I'm not joking. Hold on. I have to. Hello. I'm not. I want to be one of the classes I'm obsessed on the, but I, yeah, I, you guys, I couldn't, I, I have, ay, ay, ay. Hold on. Oh, I found it. Okay. Right. Now, that doesn't... Here we go. What movie are we talking about? Oh, gal. Oh, uh, Gay just said my husband said my filter is broken. Yeah, that's something I don't have. Okay. Uh, I definitely don't have. And I also have um, this uncanny ability to laugh at really uncomfortable moments. I'm definitely a hit if you need to go to a funeral and everybody is serious. Like, I am your... I'm your go-to. I, yeah. Oh, Kelly just says, as a college professor, I've been well-trained in immaturity. I would be kicked out swiftly. <laughs> I just would like you all to know, like, who I am as a person. And I don't want you to think for a second I'm able to control myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the HR uh, at work, so <laughs> I have to, like, sit on my hands and not talk. Am I doing a background? I don't know. I, I haven't gotten that. Lisa, you're four steps ahead of me. I didn't even know there was a background left. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that would be like if somebody, I saw this TV show, Ugh, I watch too much reality TV. So if somebody knows this and somebody was a model and they were serving sushi on the model. Um, I happened to see that with my girlfriend and we were on, we were on FaceTime together and I was like, legit, who would do that? And so <laughs> I don't want to hear about anybody who's done that, but I could not control my laughing. It's uncomfortable. I know. 
I, <laughs> Diana just said, oh, no, I stuck my brush in my wine. So, Diana, there's a five-second rule in painting. It's you can get it out as long as there's not too much color and the wine is still either red or white. <laughs> Go ahead and drink it. Below deck! That was it, Connie! Oh, my God, Connie. I am the biggest Bravo watcher in the world. It was below deck. By the way, that kid got in trouble, too. All those rich kids. Oh, my God. They had so much money that their parents paid. Okay. It is... I'm a germaphobe, too. So can you imagine the issue that I'm going to have if somebody is, like, serving food uh, uh, via body? I would just die. I would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Hell's Kitchen. That's my other favorite show. Oh, anybody watching? Oh, my God. I must make eye contact. Okay. I, anybody watching? Here we go. Is anybody watching Stanley Tucci uh, discovering Italy? Oh, my goodness. I First off, I love to travel, number one. Number two, my family is from Malta, and Italy is a big influence. And so all I want to do is go to Italy and Malta and eat. Um, if you're not watching that show, it's on, I want to say, like Discovery, which my my TV actually, I think, started to have convulsions when I turned. Um, when I turned, if you guys wondering what I'm doing, I'm just literally doing this. This is all I'm doing. I'm just tapping the pen down. So, <laughs> if anybody was wondering what this. <laughs> oh, my God. Love that show. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. Oh, by the way, I love him. I love him. I love the fact that he's eating an immense amount of butter and pasta. And now some of the dirtier parts of the meat, I was not that in Bologna. No, was it Bologna? I don't know. I'm obsessed. I have to go to Italy. I have to go to Malta. And OK, now Carol is almost you guys. Oh, is it? It's on CNN. OK, just I am so sorry. Look at see. I knew literally legit my. I knew my TV was having convulsions when it wasn't on Bravo or something reality TV. Uh, but Daniel, Stanley Tucci, is he was the guy in The Devil Wears Prada, and I just love him, and I follow him on Instagram, and he makes really good cocktails. Um, if you get the chance to see that show, it will, uh, uh, it will, you will love it. Um, I, too, have a massive crush on Captain Lee and how he speaks in Below Deck. If you guys don't know, that's a Bravo show. I watch a lot of Bravo. Um, today, my friend was talking about the History Channel, and I actually looked at him and said, oh, my God, they have a channel that's dedicated to history. I didn't even listen to history when I was in school. Um, and he asked me, well, what do you watch? And I was like, you do not want to know how immature I am when it comes to TV. I don't want to think about anything when I'm watching TV. So I feel like if I'm watching the History Channel, um, that would warrant some knowledge of history. I feel like with watching Stanley, Stanley Tucci in Italy, it's pretty evident where he's located because the country's shaped like a boot, and I love boots. Um, so yes. Uh, Teresa, to answer your question, I did see that episode and I've never been more not unpleased. Well, I don't know what the word is. I'm very unpleased. No, is unpleased a word? Displeased. Sorry. I, I do take English very seriously. I'm very displeased that those are mothers. A little disappointing. Now, I don't judge. However... Yes, I saw that episode. I haven't missed any of them. I watch them all. Don't judge. I, I am who I am. I go to bed at night and I want to not think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I have a real problem with relaxing. Uh, so if I were to turn TV on that makes me think too much, it just is just very stressful to me. So I just, I, I'm not a history buff. I don't really like geography. 
it's a miracle I can actually get to work sometimes. Um, we joke in our family. Um, the only thing I like on like Discovery or the History Channel is how it's made. If 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 um, if they're talking about how something is made, I want to know how everything is made. Anybody ever see that show? But if it's trying to teach me something, I I I lose interest. <laughs> yeah, thank you. See, I'm not the only one who thinks that was. I always think that I'm a mom first. Uh, so I'm not really thinking that these women are always thinking that they're mothers first, but a lot of them are mothers. So you kind of live with that stuff around. Like, I know I embarrass my kids on social media, but not to the point that they're saying, Mom, please stop drawing in public. At least I have clothes on, you know, that kind of thing. Wendy said, I haven't been accepted in the Facebook group. I just put another request in. Okay, uh, send an email. I, uh, Anne is here. She's watching. I will get you happening. All right, I just am um, kind of scooting along here, and I decided to just go a little bolder with this because I have approximately four, six minutes to finish this while I'm talking about my love for Daniel Tucci. Uh, and I know he's married. I've already checked. Uh, uh, not that I care. Yeah, I love how it's made. See, uh, that's another show. So just so you know, I'm not a complete dimwit. I do like how things are made. Okay, uh, Lisa, to answer your question, I decided I was going to cheat and my background is now black. <laughs> Why? Because I don't have time to get into a background. I was going to add some vines and leaves, but this is a demo. And when I demo, I scooch it alone. So we're just going to blow through this Sharpie. I could have probably pulled out paint, but not going to do it. I could probably do this in black watercolors, but nope. you're just going to see a big negative Add a few more details, give a little love, do a little dance, get down to nothing. You know what would look really cool though in the background? So don't be surprised if I, when I photograph this tonight and you wake up and it looks totally different, is a really fun popping background in white. So don't be surprised if I, I go a little rogue when I'm done. Uh, Whoa. Just so you know, and I don't I know she's not here because she's in Hawaii, but Bambi sent me photos of her at the Wyland studio. And here's the funny thing. I actually messaged her and said, Oh, by the way, Bambi, he's not there. He left a couple weeks ago and now he's in Florida. She legit said to me, I'm a little worried that you know where he is. <laughs> So there's a high probability uh, Wyland's people are watching me and the fact that I know where he is currently located based on his social media. You guys wonder why I blow through Sharpies? Here's a reason. Okay. This, this is going to take some time, but, well. Normally, I wouldn't have this much white space, but I just do. So I'm going to just not care. You know, I could get a bigger marker. That would also solve the problem. Just keep going. Well, here's the good news. I think I still remember how to draw. A little doubtful tonight. Ooh, ooh, Cindy got some stamps from Dare to Be Artsy. By the way, I've had so many nice comments on my resources page. And if you're looking for art journals, I just got a huge order in. But the one thing that they have back ordered is the one thing that like a few people have ordered. So I've got to get those off the back order list. Uh, but if you need art journals, I can give that link before I'm done because I uh, need to get rid of some of those because they doubled down on something that I already had and made a mistake and back ordered the ones I needed. So they're in trouble with me, but 
they've been so good to me that I can't get mad. Okay, I know that seemed like a lot of background, but I needed to do it and I was, yeah. Okay, so let's, let me just add some fine night details in here. Can you still see this if I do this like that? All right. If you order, except for the back order ones, which it's pretty obvious which one it is, if you order, I ship it immediately because um, my shipping department's on it. In other words, my daughter is on it in the morning before she goes to work. Okay, I'm just going to... But today the main goal is to finish the table, N any final details, and then that's being moved outside and varnished this weekend so that I can deliver it and be done with it. We are not overthinking that project. I hope she likes it. All right. Oh, wow, what am I doing? Well, that's a funky leaf. Cool. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. My drawing. Okay. So now, oh, I'm going to come in here. This thing will start to pop a little bit more with the more details I put. And these don't need to be over, no overthinking here. Just go up the middle, then just kind of round them in. So I just go up the middle, round them in. Then all those imperfections I have are not so imperfect anymore in the paint because you just don't look at them. And I'm sorry, I'm rushing through the latter part of this just because I want to show that I can do this. Oh. I know, and look at, it's so funny because the less I care about the details in it, it seems like the better they turn out. And I'm skirting this uh, just along the top, skimming it across the top. I will finish this. Ooh, wow, there's still lots of people here. I always figure, man, if I go past oh, 6.30, goodbye, end of program. Uh, uh, give me five minutes. You got five minutes. Tell me what I need to do here. See? Sing a song. I always like to like, I always tackle a little bit more, but the first 15 minutes I was showing the table. Oh, that does bring a lot to it. Thank you. I always say the devil's in the details, and with that table I was working on, I had a real struggle getting past the uglies, getting to the details, that I almost flipped the table over and, you know, started to do something different, but there was no flipping it over. The other side is not meant to be painted, so once the commitment was made, the commitment was made, and I, I had to carry on and painted it. Uh... Uh-oh, it's after Marty's bedtime, so we do have to hurry because Marty literally has to get in bed. Yeah, I know, it's a, that is how I am, Donna P. You need somebody with a... I was just having a conversation with my oldest about having a good work ethic and about finishing the job, and I am... You described me to a T. But tomorrow if you wake up and there's like 17 more details to this, it's because I literally wasn't satisfied and I finished it off air. But you get the idea. I mean, this isn't 
um, that's not, uh, you know, eminent. I actually finished it. You guys are not going to. Cool. Uh, what else do I want to do? Oh, okay. Uh, how come everybody is in hotels room like right now? I'm so jealous. I want to be in a hotel room. I am already planning a trip to go see my family in June, and hacker high water, this girl is getting there to North Carolina. All right. You know what? It's actually better when I don't overthink this. What did did anybody think we were going to do anything to the middle of this? <laughs> or did we just decide that that was nothing or uh we needed to communicate a little bit better? I feel like um uh oh, Marty is just joining us, so we're going to have to reverse this whole thing. You guys, I'm laughing cuz I don't know what I was thinking there okay just it literally it was such a small thing but oh I have family in North Carolina my whole family is now there well most of my family I'm originally all right so there we go I now I would want to add a little more depth to this but it would it would involve going back over this 14 more times, but you get the idea. I'm just adding a little bit more. I like to add, just give it a little more love, a little more definition. Okay, that, that, that would be what I do here. Okay, one other thing, and then I will be done. This kind of was like, Ah, oh, you just have to do it. I'm going to grab out the aquarella bowl. Okay, and I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to come in here because this sunflower just needs a little kick in the shorts. That's what it needs. Okay. You know what? It needs it here, too. Uh, what is this going to be? Uh, think, think, think before you do it. Okay. Do you like how I yell at myself? All right. It just seemed like there was something everywhere, so I'm just gonna, yeah. All right. The good news is now I can pretty much all over the world, or if not the United States, say, Hey, by the way, I'm going to be in Chattanooga this weekend. Is anybody around? Um, so when it is safe to move about the country, I plan on moving my keister around the country. Okay, just to be clear. So. All right, this is just an aquarellable pencil. I'm just adding some shading because every good sunflower needs a good shading. I'm just... Okay, yes, rebuff. Goody, goody. Okay, and I'm not going to drag any other colors out. And then I'm going to do this. Ah, you know, white would look good in it. I, I'm going to call this a day. I, um, I, I'm not going to obsess. I'm obsessing, but I'm happy that I got to this point where I feel like it is done. I could list about seven other things I'd like to do, but my journaling here is done. Is anybody ready for the tape to come off? Because we all know that is the best part about any art journaling. Okay, is the tape ready to come off? Stop, put your markers down. Okay, done. Right? Right. All right. 
Oh, I love Pennsylvania. By the way, whatever the place is with the really good, uh, what are those called? Um, steak sandwiches, the reading, the something, the reading, the something. I'm taking the tape off. Tape off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh -uh. Take it off. Bow, bow, bow. Yes. Okay, all on a Wednesday night. Yeah. What size book is that? Seven by ten? See, if we did nudes, I'd have to use a much bigger book. <laughs> I would have to because everything else would be disproportionate. <laughs> so, what was that in? Philly steak cheese sandwiches. Thank you. What did I call them? you guys see I just do that to get you moving and inspire you oh uh, Kim my tape always rips the paper what do you use take a heat gun to it or a hair dryer before you take it off the paper take a heat gun if you're looking for my resource page to see specifically what tape I use because I think it is the best and it comes in three different sizes I'm gonna give you my resource resort the before you go, I will give you my resource page. I will also give you the journal page. <sighs> the tape I use is listed. Uh, people ask me that. I think it's the number one thing that gets uh, ordered uh, because I know. I'm going to give you the, sh oh, no. Oh, well, I'm going to give you the don't. If anybody sees a wine glass in my shop, don't order it because I'll have to cancel your order. But I'm working on it. I don't know if it's in there. It probably is. I hope you can't see it. All right. Did I freeze? Oh, I am frozen. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me come back and change cameras. Um, oh, I'm frozen in the worst. Oh, there we go. I'm frozen in the worst possible position, too. Okay. So tape off, there you go, um, done. Okay, I was 10 minutes late. I'm so sorry. Have a wonderful week. By the way, you kept freezing momentarily. It was stormy here, so maybe it was me. Okay, sorry about that. Just so you all know, um, your Artful Journey members, Wine with Wine is on Monday night. Mark your calendars now and check your emails. Those things get sent out. Uh, but uh, Anne's keeping everybody notified in the group. As for me, I'm over and out. I'm going to go draw too much on a table. And I thank you all from the bottom of my little artistic heart for joining me, conversating with me, and for keeping me company tonight. I'll see you all next Wednesday night, same time, same channel. This video will go to YouTube, and you are welcome to watch it as much as you would like. And while you're there, you can hit the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much. I'll talk to you all soon.